Welcome back once again, my friends. It is your friendly preacher of positivity, Centurion1307. This generation has been an absolute uphill struggle for the Microsoft Xbox brand. With controversies like Grassgate, 1080p makes you a better gamer, 900p versus 1080p. No exclusives, the list goes on on all the underhanded comments that have been made against the brand over the past few years this generation. Things have changed dramatically in gaming as a whole. Depending on your perspective is how you are forming your opinion to these changes. Some have no problem with what's going on, where others are completely just not wanting to accept the changes that are starting to occur around them. It has been told to me many times in my life that change is one of the hardest things to accept in life. Sometimes change is good, other times change is bad and things just don't work out the way you wanted them to. Just look at Microsoft at the beginning of this generation. There was a person in charge of the Xbox brand that was wanting to change it and take it into a direction that people did not want to see it go. This individual halted a lot of game development in place of turning the Xbox into more of a movie entertainment system. A prime example of that is Quantum Break and why it played more as a movie than it did a game. This also led to the release of multiple game titles that a lot of people did not embrace. This made it to where Xbox had to rely on second party deals to support them and this caused them to get burned multiple times by these second parties. One of the biggest examples out there of them getting burned by these second parties is the cancellation of Scalebound. In a recent interview with Fortune, Phil Spencer stated that over the past few years that their games and first party content have been pretty lackluster and that there is a lot of room for improvement to be worked on. There is a real dividing line starting to occur in the gaming community. Some are using Phil Spencer's words from this interview as a weapon to show that they have given up on the Xbox platform, and that there is no reason at all to continue investing in Xbox or ever buying an Xbox again, just completely abandon the platform. But is that fair to say, considering Microsoft is making it completely apparent to those that refuse to believe it that there is a bright future ahead? In another interview conducted with Fortune, CEO of Microsoft Satya Nadala came out and said this, The living room is not the only place where people play games. The living room is a super important place where people play games. We still love our console. We're going to have another console. We're going to keep at it because we think there are people who want to play games on the console. But he does go in to say that there is also going to be some concentration on the PC as well, due to the fact that in the past they didn't concentrate very much on the PC community. But they are very much a part of gaming just as everybody else, and that he wants to embrace them and concentrate even harder on the PC community. I choose to not game on PC, that isn't my cup of tea, but there is people out there that prefer a PC over a console. With the proper systems and structures in place for crossplay, the Xbox and PC communities could come together to create an even greater gaming experience and creating even more fans for the games we love. Yes, like Phil Spencer said, their first party titles haven't exactly been bangers this generation, but at the same time, they haven't been exactly flops either. A lot of these first party titles are still talked about today and have actually grown in popularity as time has passed. Not to mention the fact that a lot of these games are still receiving updates today. Crackdown 3, State of Decay 2, and Sea of Thieves are just some of the games that are still receiving content drops to support the communities that play them. And with the soon to be released Gears 5, the Xbox community is in a state of buzz and hype that hasn't been seen in a long time. 
Its story and multiplayer content are looking to set a new standard in the Gears franchise. But there is also a whole plethora of games that are coming out in the next few months that have the Xbox community buzzing. Titles like Blair Witch, Everreach Project Eden, and The Outer Worlds, just to name a few. We also can't forget the fact that in early 2020, we're gonna get the new multiplayer sensation Bleeding Edge. And the games won't stop there. Xbox has been purchasing multiple studios over the past few years. There is one studio in particular though that has been built from the ground up and is getting a lot of hype associated with it. The initiative has acquired some of the top names in gaming development this generation. The naysayers out there are just stating that Microsoft is just throwing money at these developers to acquire their talents and that they better crack the whip and make sure they develop a game as quick as they can. One of the mantras that comes out of the studio The Coalition from Rod Ferguson is the motto that he gives his team before every development cycle. If you want to get somewhere quickly, go it alone. If you want to get somewhere slowly, go together. You can't rush the creation process that is going to give us more games like we have seen this generation. Instead, Microsoft is wanting to create a team-based environment that these developers can thrive in. An environment where anybody can come to work and share the passion that they have for the projects that they're working on. Without the fear of the dreaded developer tech crunch and the ability to maintain a healthy and positive work-life balance. In the sit-down Giant Bomb interview with Phil Spencer just after E3, he was asked a line of questions regarding the problems with the game development industry and that should developers union up. The person conducting the interview was a little taken back by Phil Spencer's answer. Phil Spencer has stated that he hasn't given it much thought as they don't have these problems in their studios. They want to give their developers the proper amount of time that they need to create create the games that we love all while maintaining an open door policy for the employees to give their opinions and to voice their problems. So it sounds like Microsoft has lured a lot of the top names in development with just more than money. All of these developers have personal lives and who wouldn't want a job that would allow you to have one? Game developers are also not the only ones that are being lured over to the Microsoft Xbox brand. The extremely popular Twitch streamer Ninja has just switched over to the Microsoft Microsoft Mixer platform. There was a lot of people proved wrong by this acquisition by the fact that they were thinking that Microsoft was just going to let Mixer fall flat on its face. I have heard more people talk and mention Mixer more than ever this generation since Ninja's acquisition. At the time of this video, Ninja has only been on the Mixer platform for just a few days. Currently, at this moment, he has over 600,000 followers with almost 4 million views. With his help, there are more eyes on the Mixer platform now more than ever. And it's even being said that he's going to help get more eyes on titles like Gears 5 and Halo Infinite. With all the games, game developers, and game streamers that Microsoft has been acquiring and wanting to put out into the wild, Microsoft is hoping now that more than ever people are going to want to experience the Microsoft games and the ecosystem. But there are those out there that have no way of experiencing the Microsoft ecosystem, whether it's by geographic location or financial constraint. There are economic markets out there that the Xbox isn't even being sold on, and there is places in this world where people don't make enough money to even begin buying one of these consoles. They deserve to be part of this ecosystem and have the same experiences as I do. The idea of exclusives and digital elitism is slowly dissolving away and giving birth to what is going to be called xCloud. Using the Azure server-based cloud system with data centers located all around the world, people that have never been able to experience the Xbox brand or community will be able to join it on a device of their choosing. For some of these people, this has just been a personal choice to not buy the Xbox console. But for a lot of the rest, it is because they are located in a region that does not sell Xboxes or they are not economically inclined to be able to purchase these consoles. This will give them a cheap, affordable option to join us in the Xbox digital ecosystem. 
So in closing, in taking into account everything that I have mentioned to create the bigger picture, the Xbox brand seems like it has a very bright future ahead of them. So for all the naysayers and non-believers out there, you cannot deny the moves and the money that Microsoft is investing into the Xbox brand. I look forward to conversating and talking about these experiences on the bright road of the future for Xbox with the new fans and the old fans alike. With everything that's being said and done against the Xbox brand, it is only going to serve to create a much stronger supportive community in the long run. Please join me down in the comment selection below and tell me what you're hyped about for the future of Xbox. Please be sure to click the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed the video and the content I put out. Thank you for tuning in and listening to me on how I think that there is a bright future ahead for Xbox. So till next time my friends, game hard out there.